What's good, TMG fam? It's your boy, Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Listen, ever since COVID hit, bro, it's kind of put a damper on my plans, my travel plans, bro. I ain't been able to get out like I, I used to towards right before COVID hit, man. And I was going to different countries, experiencing new things, seeing the cultures, trying new foods, all kind of stuff, bro. I was really getting my travel on. You know what I mean? And that's kind of been pretty much, that's come to a halt because of that, you know? But uh, I guess COVID is just going to be something that we talk about for the rest of our lives, centuries to come, man. It's, 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 it's here. It's in our history books. But anyway, man, so experiencing cultures and, and different things and foods was, was intriguing to me. So I'm going to check this video out. This is the most unusual foods that only exist in china all right so if you're new to the channel man hit the subscribe button and uh let's check this out man the chinese are well known when it comes to eating weird foods and the recent coronavirus outbreak is thought to be the result of their strange eating habits you see there are several types of coronavirus all of which have their origins in bats it's also heard that a snake would have eaten an infected bat and then someone ate that snake and got the virus. Well, that said, here's a list of 10 most unusual foods that only exist in China. Want to learn about the weirdest Chinese street food? Then make sure to check out our number one video. Oh, that look like, what is that? I couldn't really tell. I was, I thought that might've been a bat. And if that's a bat, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Have y'all eaten or tasted bat in your lifetime? No disrespect if you like it, bro. Listen, listen, bro. I grew up in let's 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 clear this up real quick. I grew up in the South. So don't think I'm coming off as being disrespectful. No, I've seen a lot of things eaten that you wouldn't normally put on your dinner table. You, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Coon, possum, different, all kind of different things, bro. I've seen eaten. So don't think I'm trying to. No, 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 no. I'm just telling you for me, my preference, I just can't get with the whole bat thing if that's if that was a bat. It probably wasn't. I don't know what it was. Learn about the weirdest Chinese street food? Then make sure to check out our number one video. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for y'all that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the nation bell, and you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. <laughs> Try it. It really works. We begin our list with a rather disturbing video taken in Guangdong province in South China. I know that you didn't ask for this, but here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to prepare giant snake soup. The guy in this video first carefully washes the snake, then puts it in a bowl until the snake is completely clean. Then he cuts it from top to bottom. The snake was still moving, right? <laughs> Y'all heard the old saying, you chop the head off a snake. It ain't not, hey, it can still get you. So watch the head. But uh, I don't think he did a good job cleaning that. Just sloshing the water all the way around. He didn't clean that too good. Notice how the snake's body still moves around even after it's been gutted completely. I oh, think I'm God. not gonna be eating meat for a long time after watching this video. Thank you, China. Snake soup. He got it good then after that, my bad. <laughs> was once considered a luxury dish by the Chinese. It was enjoyed only by wealthy people, but later on it became common among the classes as well. Snake soup is also used for medicinal purposes in China wow. because they believe it cures ailments such as arthritis and improves blood circulation. However, eating snake soup might also be the easiest way to get coronavirus. Just saying. Weird street foods in Xinjiang, China. In this video, you can see the weirdest street foods that you can eat in the city of Xinjiang, located on the central coast of southern Guangdong province. First, there's black stinky tofu. This doesn't sound very appealing, does it? Mm -mm. The odor of stinky tofu is said to resemble that of rotten garbage. Ew, how can anyone eat something that smells like rotten garbage? I know the Chinese people are special and all, but man, this is weird. The video also shows us a whole- Like this dude, does he have something against the Chinese culture or something like that? I'm fit, hey, what's up with dude that's narrating this thing? You know what I mean? Hey, don't, hey, 
I ain't got I have no horse in this race, bro. I'm just checking out a video. But he sound like he mad biased, don't he? A whole bunch of unusual looking foods. We have centipede, grasshopper, sea serpent, spiders, some weird bugs, and yes, even scorpions. These people literally eat anything that moves. I get that. These people? Yo, what's up with this dude? These people? Scorpions. These people literally eat anything that moves. I get that humans are omnivores, but the Chinese really take it to the next level. Moving on. Blowfish. If you know your sea creatures, you'll understand why it's weird that anyone would serve a blowfish as a meal. But hey, we're talking about China. Isn't the blowfish like deadly if eaten wrong or some kind of way like that? Here. So no surprise there. Anyway, blowfish or pufferfish is one of the most deadly creatures on the planet. What do I mean? You see, nearly all pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a toxin that is so powerful and deadly that it can kill 30 people in one hit. What makes it even more dangerous is the fact that there isn't any antidote. So how and why do people still eat it, you ask? Well, that, my friends, is a very interesting question. You have to remove the poison, obviously, but it's not like anyone can do it. Only a specially trained chef with years of experience can prepare it. It's pretty brave to trust your chef to be good enough to get the poison out. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't risk it. Strangely, some chefs actually choose to leave a little bit of the toxin in the fish, which causes a tingling sensation on the lips and tongue. I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass too, bro. I don't, I don't place, I can't place that much trust in somebody. Who's to say he ain't coming to work that day and have a bad day? Forget something. It happens, bro. You really gonna put your life in the hands of that chef? My bad, y'all. I was eating chips and salsa before we started. I ain't got nothing in my beard, do I? I've seen a, I went back and edited some videos and when I was editing, I seen I had something in my beard, but I was like, uh, it is what it is. Ain't like I can go back and redo it. All right, my bad, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't putting that much trust in nobody. Hell no, hell no. Grilled crocodile meat. We often think of crocodiles as being something that could eat us, but did you know you can eat them? Well, in China, you can. If you're gonna try some, just make sure it's properly grilled before you do. You don't want it biting back now, do you? <laughs> People in China just love the chicken meat likeness of the croc, but that's not the only reason they're eating it. Apparently, the crocodile has numerous health benefits, and it can also cure respiratory illnesses like asthma. Some popular dishes prepared with crocodile include crocodile curry, crocodile tail steaks, and crocodile soup. So, would you try crocodile meat? Let me know in the comments. I have. It was I would, because I've tried uh, gator meat, had it fried, very, very good. Very good. I was hesitant at first, you know what I mean? But once I tried it, bro, it was really, really good. So I would I would have to guess that crocodile meat is no different, uh, at least somewhat similar. Uh, so I'm telling you, I'll definitely try it. No, wait, that was alligator. Oh, it was awesome. Giant octopus. No. Sometimes eating dead stuff just isn't exciting enough. Sometimes you want your food to have more kick. Literally, because it's fighting back and resisting you. Well, this octopus dish called sanachi is exactly that. This is a dish that will literally slither down your throat because it's technically still alive. This South Korean dish is served so fresh that the central ingredient, octopus, is alive on the plate, though it's dressed in sesame oil and sesame seeds to at least make it look a little more bearable. If something's gonna be attacking the inside of your mouth, you want it to at least be tasty, right? Okay, when I- Ah, oh, they got me right there. Oh, no, no, no. That one, mm-mm. Oh, what if that, like the suction cups get like stuck to your, to your throat or your windpipe or something? Oh, oh. come on, man. Y'all tripping with this one. Any, any of y'all tried that? I, I'm cool on that one. Just look, man. It was still moving in shorty mouth. Look, 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 look. She's nasty, by the way. 
<laughs> Sorry. Ingredient octopus is alive on the plate, though it's dressed in sesame oil and sesame seeds to at least make it look a little more bearable. If something's going to be attacking the inside of your mouth, you want it to at least be tasty, right? Okay, when I say attacking the inside of your mouth, I'm not exaggerating for comedic effect. I am not overblowing the slight wiggling sensation you might feel thrashing against your teeth. This is a genuine danger here. The active suction cups of the tentacles can grip onto the roof of your mouth and throat, becoming a pretty serious choking hazard. <clears throat> Scorpion. Oh, yeah, no. Y'all can have that one, bro. That instantly got, uh, did something to me. I had to drink more water, man. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. No way. Uh-uh. I'd be like, yo, L, would you do that for some money? Uh, how much money are we talking? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It got to come with, you know what I mean, some some nice, uh, nice money to try that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scorpions, also eaten in China. They are served fried, roasted, or grilled. And sometimes they're even served alive. That's right. Just when you thought things couldn't get any weirder. But hey, at least they're tasty, right? Wrong. It's said that scorpions taste like moist ground. Wait, wait, what, seriously? <laughs> then why do the Chinese eat them? Well, who knows? The scorpions are sometimes put into traditional liquors and sometimes mixed with herbs. Uh, these fried small scorpions are used as snacks. And also, the stingers of these scorpions are not removed due to the fact that they lose poison after they're exposed to heat. The scorpions are also used for medicinal purposes. They are so frequently consumed in China that they often appear in the dishes of many restaurants. It is recommended that they should not be cooked at home. Oh man, I was just thinking about buying some scorpions and cooking them for dinner. Okay, never mind. Giant Rainbow Lobster The beautiful creature you see on the screen is a giant rainbow lobster. Just look at the colors on this animal. I haven't seen anything quite like it. It's like looking at a work of art. The rainbow lobster definitely deserves its name, that's for sure. And yes, rainbow lobster is considered a delicacy in countries such as Japan, Thailand, and of course, China. Not only is it a delicacy, but it's also one of the most expensive foods in the world that will set you back a whopping $600. Would you pay that? For a lobster, bro? 600? 600 that's it come on now we've all went to a steak restaurant or somewhere and had to surf and turf or, or had it went somewhere and had a lobster bro it's going like that it's going like that that's just 600 gone like that ah. i don't know bro <laughs> even if you he was a multi-millionaire i'm still I'm still like, bro, 600 for that? It gotta be a really special occasion. That amount of money just to eat a giant rainbow lobster? Let me know in the comments below. It's just so pretty. It was like, I don't even want to try to eat it. And it's huge. Squid sashimi. This video taken at the Gang Yung Yung Gang Market, and I hope I said that right, in China, shows us a step-by-step -step process of preparing squid sashimi. Sashimi, in case you don't know, is a delicacy from Japan that consists of fresh raw fish or meat sliced into thin pieces. It's usually eaten with soy sauce. <clears throat> with that out of the way, let's get back to the squid, shall we? As you can see, three squids are taken from the aquarium and put on the table. They're very much alive. The guy on the video cleans them and chops them up using a knife before putting them in the peeling machine. Look, the tentacles are still moving. Incredible. That's because squids have an incredibly complex nervous system, and more than two-thirds of their neurons are located in their tentacles, which is why they're able to react so quickly to threats. Because the dish is served so fresh, nerve activity continues in the tentacles, even though they've been disconnected from the brain, so they still move on the plate as you eat it. Even the suckers continue to function and can attach themselves to your throat, as you're swallowing, which presents a serious choking hazard, especially when intoxicated. See, now I wanna look up how many people have died from meals like this. Cause you know somebody has had to happen. That's why these warnings and disclaimers come out throughout the videos and stuff like that. Probably when you eat it too. 
you have to be told uh, or or explain the warnings and disclaimers of of eating this dish. Anything that comes like that, it's not appealing to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not knocking anybody who tried, but just having a whole death factor from that or a puffer fish, uh, count me out, bro. <laughs> It's recommended to ensure the tentacles are properly chewed before swallowing, but even this doesn't completely prevent them from moving. Wow, talk about dangerous food. I think they ought to make a TV series about eating dangerous food. Am I right? Whole lamb head. Oh God, just when you thought things couldn't get any weirder, you come to find out that the Chinese also eat a whole lamb head. That's right, you heard me, I didn't stutter. Just look at it. It's a whole lamb head. Now, that's just gross, man. I, I can't even. If you want to try this Chinese delicacy for some odd reason, just make sure you clean the head first and then boil it. And yes, you can. He said for, for some odd reason. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if he had like a Chinese girlfriend that did him wrong in the past or something. But this dude here has something against China, man. What's going on, bro? Let's talk about it, whoever you are. I, I can't even. If you want to try this Chinese delicacy for some odd reason, just make sure you clean the head first and then boil it. And yes, you can really eat everything. The brain, the eyes, the tongue, the skin. So pretty much everything except- Okay, Hannibal Lecter. The bones. You can't eat bones, all right? Let's just move on before I throw up. Chinese street food. And if it wasn't enough for you already, here's another look at the Chinese street food. There is something for everyone. Not me, though. You have live scorpions on a stick, all sorts of insects, some weird tails, grasshoppers, tarantulas, and even tiger claws. And here I thought lambhead was bad. Chinese people always seem to find a way to surprise you. And that's a wrap on the most unusual foods that exist only in China. Would you try any of the foods on this list? Or would you stay the hell away from it? Like yours truly. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. See, one thing I did learn is that they, they would be great survivalists with some of the foods they eat. Just look at it. You know what I mean? Getting out in the wild or being stranded. Something like on some Bear grills type of stuff like that. They would be very good survivalists. I'm telling you, bro. A lot of that stuff, who would have thought to take a scorpion and do what they did or, or go in the water and pull up a squid or, or something like that, eat that, see a lamb. Oh, no, you can eat not only the lamb meat, but also the lamb head. You know what I mean? And, and it continues to go. So when I look at it, I look at it different from him. I was like, yo, yo, like it, it would really teach you to appreciate maybe having to resort to having to survive one day. And, and knowing how to and what to and what can kill you, what what to do and what not to do. So that would be something to think about when you go over there and experience their culture, man. So I look at it different than him. But like I said, he got some type of trauma <laughs> or some type of past because he was super, super biased, man. I don't know why, bro, what he had against him. But y'all get at me in the comment section, though, man. Let me know what y'all thought of this video. The most unusual foods that only exist in China. All right. And let me know if you've been there and you've had some of this stuff. How was it? I'm curious. I'm out, man. Until the next reaction, y'all stay solid, man. Hey.